Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this evening's presentation of Bululu Uncle, Mr. Senzo Wimted. You're looking at me, and you're wondering if I stole this. <laughs> no, I never steal. It was a present. Yeah, I got it from your line. <laughs> well, otherwise, you're looking at me, and you're wondering if this person is a very fair Nigerian. Or a very dark charo. <laughs> well, it makes for quite a story. Let's see, where should I start? Maybe I should start from the start. Okay, it all began with my mom, dad, that cheap bottle of wine, some Luther Van Ross playing softly in the back. <laughs> one thing led to another, and before you know it, <laughs> hey, one thing led to another. Bethard, <laughs> Bethard, ay, 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 ay. Delete, delete, delete. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's see. Maybe I should start from the beginning. My name is Senzo Mtetwa. It was almost surprise Mtetwa. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Because when my, dad, when my mom told my dad that she was pregnant with me, he got such a surprise, he kicked down. Because of that, I was almost called bad luck in Tetua. <laughs> but luckily, the nurse at the hospital didn't know whether bad luck had a hyphen or not. <laughs> so, I was Senzo in Tetua. I was born on the 28th of November, 1983, at McCod's Hospital at 8 p.m. You know, when I think about the time I was born and my complexion, <laughs> I guess it's true what they say about children that are born at night. So does that mean all white people are born during the day? <laughs> then I wonder what time colored people are born. <laughs> well, I could start there, or maybe I could start from the day I became a real person. The day I applied for my ID. I was so excited. I got up really early that morning because I know that Home Affairs usually opens at about 8 o'clock, so I made sure I was in town by 7. Well, I got into town, jumped off at Commercial Road, went across the street into Home Affairs, and there were 500 people there before me. I mean, where do I start? Who do I speak to? But then that's when I noticed the security guard. Maybe I'll ask him, he might know. Uh, sorry, uh, sorry, excuse me. Saubona, Minafuna, a player, follow ID. <laughs> uh, ID, uh, don't pass. <laughs> um, 
Hubani Q, Mina must standing in. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Oh, you here for the ID, eh? All right. It's the first time you come here. Okay, okay. <laughs> you never come here before. How? Oh, you're a victim of circumstance, eh? <laughs> okay, you see, counter one. Counter one is for the ID. Where are you going? Where are you going? How? Oh, I'm still talking to you. Next to counter one is counter two. That is for the passport. You know the people go overseas? Uh, don't worry, it's not for you. <laughs> Next to counter two is counter three. That is for the death certificate. You're not dead, eh? I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> and next to counter three is counter four. That is for the marriage certificate. Uh, you're not married, eh? Hey, you're very lucky. <laughs> next to counter four is counter five. That is for immigration. You know the people that come from overseas? You're from this country. Which soccer team you support? Okay, okay. You support Chiefs, eh? I support Pirates. Where are you going? Where are you going? You got the ball pen. It's 350. <laughs> How is the security guard trying to send me a useless pen? Hey, count to one. God. Oh, look at the queue. Oh, I'm going to be here the whole day. Oh, man. But even more upset than me was the guy standing in front. This guy was pissed. He sort of reminded me of one of these uh, Phoenix gangsters. <laughs> what? What? You know me. You know me. You don't know me. <laughs> me, I'll slap you one time before two times. He had a brand new pair of JPs, uh, that's Jack Purcell's, <laughs> and socks. He was wearing secret socks. He was also wearing the sort of uh, long sleeve short pants. <laughs> but I could tell that he was a soccer supporter because he had a red Manchester United jersey on. Number 17, Ranga. <laughs> hey, there was a Ranga in United. He then turned to look outside. That's when I got a better look at him. Ranga wasn't the most handsome looking guy. He had what you would call a puza face. <laughs> it looked like from small, his mother was putting drop in his bottle and giving him. <laughs> Either that or someone dropped a whole crate of beer on him. He also had two tattoos. He had a tattoo of a naked lady and a tattoo of a snake. No. He had a tattoo of a naked lady and a tattoo of a snake. They looked like two snakes. <laughs> but then that's when I noticed. Ranga had the most amount of gold teeth I had ever seen. <laughs> I mean, every single tooth was gold. 17. He even had a tooth with an R in diamonds. I remember trying to tell myself, Senzo, stop staring. Stop staring, Senzo. I have a sec. And then that's when we made eye contact. But it wasn't that normal sort of eye contact. It was the kind of eye contact that either leads to a conversation or a swearing. Hey, Lighty, what you bloody looking at, man? When he's taking his look at me. Hey, Lighty, why don't you go speak to your connections, man? Tell them, hurry up. Look, look at the cues over here. Hey, you know, when the charros were running this place, you never have all these problems. Ah. Plus two, I had one to connections graphing in the back. I won't have to waste my time and come here, Lighty. I'll just pick up the phone. Hey, what kind, Linga? <laughs> Organize one, two, death certificates there? <laughs> no, no, just sign it. I'll put the names. Yeah. What? You said something? Oh, you coughing. 
Hey, don't cough me like this. I'll run your damn TB. <laughs> hey, I'm joking with you, Xe. What you so serious for? Hey, hey, what you must park behind me the whole time? Come park next to me like this. Yeah, don't worry. I'll keep a place in the queue. Hey, you making me turn my neck one way. Hey, I'll bloody get lumbago. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Me, I reckon I'm buying from here. What they got for me? At least you, you okay. You got that BEE. -E. But me, that's what I reckon. Me, I'm buying from here. I'm kicking down. I'm launching this place. Let's see. I got things made. I got things organized. I got a top graph overseas. I'm buying a pack of fish in Alaska. Hey, you're laughing. You know what a top place Alaska is? Hey! Lighty, you know what the degrees is there? <laughs> Minus 40. <laughs> hey, that's on a hot day, except. Hey, you can buy minus 60, minus 100 even. Cold. Cold is nothing for me, except. Me, me, I'm tough. You know what I do when I buy in a tavern? I sit in the fridge and dop. <laughs> Cold nothing. You know I'm buying Alaska. Like this. Short pants, sandals. <laughs> and lighty, you know how much they're paying? Top bucks, exe. Huh? $15,000. Hey, you're laughing, you. You know how much March $15,000 is? Hey, that's more than a bloody lotto, man. Yeah, you, you convert it to rand, you must uh, times about 12. Yeah. You know a 12 times table. Like you, my day in school, the teacher just walk in the class and point, five fives. Before you can even think what the answer is, he can't give you one to what happens? <laughs> hey, but not me, not me, like me. Hey, I was a bad one in school, except. I was a heavy or asshole, they'll tune you. I was a bad one. Yeah. Check over here, check here, can see here. You see here? One bullet almost grazed me. <laughs> I see over here, Lighty. See here. Look here, look here. Hey, see here, man. You see? One who almost broke a bottle on my back. <laughs> and check here, check here. You see here? You see? Hey, look probably, man. Pull here. See? Now, this is nothing. This is birthmark, this. <laughs> yeah, Lighty. Twelve ones? Hey, let you slow. Twelve ones is twelve. Twelve twos? I come right, Lighty. Twelve twos, twenty-four. Twelve threes? <laughs> hey, Lighty, the queue is moving. Move shop, move shop. Come here, come here, come here. Hey, Lighty, what you parking next to me for? You lose your place in the queue, you can't blame me. Hey, park behind me, Lighty. Hey, Lighty's nowadays. How is this Ranga person? So rude, so noisy. People think I came with him. Hey, what you must tell me is what you must tell me is boring stories for. Hope he does go to Alaska. I feel so embarrassed now. <laughs> you know what? This child must only kick me one more time, huh? <laughs> it's just a little girl in a plam. Maybe I'll ask her nicely. <laughs> Hello, pretty girl. Please stop kicking me, okay? <laughs> Who bought that dress for you? Your mummy. And then that's when I made eye contact with the mummy. She gave me one of those awkward smiles. You know, one of those smiles that say, uh, please don't rob me. <laughs> you see that, Saloshni? You're kicking the bulolo. You want him to catch you and put you in his packet? <laughs> now just behave yourself. Just chip. <laughs> you must act like you're the Bululu. <laughs> She's very scared for Bululus. <laughs> you see, Nasroshi, because of you, I'm going to talk to the Bululu. Huh? Now just behave yourself. What are you crying for? Just chip. See, made my mundani fall too. <laughs> this bit, just chup. Okay, Jamlut. Saloshni will behave herself, okay? You mustn't catch her and put it in your packet. All right, Jamlut? You 
must act like you, Jamlut. <laughs> She's scared for Jamlut also. Jamlut is like one mad African in our area. Only walk up and down the road, he'll kick and break the bottles. Sometimes he'll even steal the people's dogs from the house and go sell the robots. <laughs> then, when the people buy the dogs, he'll follow them back to the house and see the dog again. <laughs> I'm sorry about Saloshni. She must be a little bit nervous because uh, only your Jadi over here. <laughs> she must be thinking this is like one township, eh? from Senzo Mtetwa, almost bad like Mtetwa, now I'm Jamlut. <laughs> I should let it put her in my packet. <laughs> you know, I never thought I'd say this, but I really miss Ranga right about now. <laughs> Speaking of Ranga, he was waiting in the ID queue for his passport. God. Hey, Ranga can swear, man. Gee. He's going past. <clears throat> Good luck in Alaska! <laughs> oh, hi, yes, I'm next. Um, I'd like to apply for my ID, please. Uh, my birth certificate. Sure. Um, I had it. Um, I, I think I must have dropped it. You live with the Indians in Reserva Hills. <laughs> and you can't speak the Zulu. How? 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 Where, mommy? Hi, 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 hi. Can't speak the Zulu. It's such a big surname. Mtetwa. Huh? Mtetwa. Nyambo ase. Dingi swayo. Can't speak. How? 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 I just wait five minutes. Hi, hi, hi. Where Mavis? <laughs> Mavis? What's the guy for Was, was. How she till? Was, was. Hey, when Robert? Robert? What's the guy about? Was, was, was. How she was. Mavis? Robert? Ulomfana? Usenzo? Mtetwa? Aha! He can't speak the Zulu. This story is not even too much. It's three much. <laughs> can't speak the Zulu. Hi, 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 it's too much for me. Me, I'm taking my 30 minutes lunch break, manager. Counter closed. Hi, 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 hi. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. My ID. <sighs> Typical home affairs. After a 30 minute lunch break and a three month wait, I finally had my ID. I mean, with my ID, I could do so many things. Apply for jobs, go to nightclubs, play lotto, buy dirty magazines, even go to... <laughs> uh, no, uh, you see, the uh, dirty magazines is not for me. No, no, it's, uh, it's for my friends. Yeah, they like all those things, not me, me. I, I like to read things like uh, Mills and Boons, <laughs> and uh, Reader's Digest, <laughs> and Hey Squinot. Hey, Hey Squinot. <laughs> Okay, we could stop there, but I should also talk about my family and how I grew up. Umamwam, my mother, Neti Mtetwa, well, she was a domestic worker for the Indian family that raised me. Ubabwam, or my father Phineas, well, he wasn't around much. <laughs> Papa was a rolling stone. <laughs> But the Indian family that did raise me, that there was something else. Mr. Govind Sami Chetty, my dad, was a businessman, very religious, but had quite a sense of humor. We could never tell whether he was serious or joking whenever he was scolding us. 
Ya Ruben? Ya, kon very big headed now, huh? You know your head is so big, your eye book can't close. <laughs> oh, you're laughing, Trevor? Yeah. You're getting very big headed too. You know you never become president because your head is so big, it won't fit in a coin. <laughs> Mrs. Tolsia Machetti, my mom, was a housewife, a cook of note, but had an even crazier sense of humor. <laughs> this one time, I invited some friends over for supper. Well, we were just chilling and chatting when my mom comes in and says, you know, boys, I've got a very nice joke to tell you. So I was like, um, okay, mom, what's the joke? What should a woman do if a rat runs up her leg? <laughs> I was like, um, I don't know, ma. Uh, guys, any suggestions? I, I don't know, ma, maybe uh, scream or kick the rat away? <laughs> don't be silly. She doesn't have to do anything. The puss will catch it. <laughs> hey, Ma! What kind of a joke is that? Hey, what you laughing for? Hey, Ma! Why you can't tell decent jokes, Ma? Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Ma! Except tell not enough jokes or something, Ma. You can't tell jokes like that. Okay? Knock, knock. Uh, who's there? The rat. Hey, Ma, you! <laughs> they also had three children, Ruben, Preva, and Anusia. Because they were elder than me, I called them Anna and Akka. I ah, know, it's crazy. A little black kid calling Anna Akka. <laughs> when I was a child, I accidentally stepped on a needle and I had to have it surgically removed. My brother and sister rushed me to the hospital. I still remember standing in the crib in the hospital. <laughs> Anna! Akka! Don't leave me, Akka! Akka, take me with you, Akka! Akka, I'm sorry! Akka, you can put the manja on my leg! <laughs> the nurse looked at my sister. That's your brother, that. African brother you got. So I guess that's where more or less my Zulu took a back seat. But not if my brother Ruben had anything to do with that. He made sure I learned Zulu. Or at least kitchen Zulu. This one time, he was in the garden speaking to our previously disadvantaged horticulturalist. <laughs> also known as Garden Boy. <laughs> hey, when I slima, my kuruska benga wena, huh? And when I dagiwe, hey, hamba hamba. Hey, Anna, Anna, what you are saying? Oh, Senzo. Oh, no, I was just uh, speaking to Sixpence. What I was saying is, uh, Slima. Slima means a uh, clever person, yeah. <laughs> and uh, Dagiwe. Dagiwe is uh, well-dressed. <laughs> and uh, Hamba Hamba, oh, that means go away. <laughs> okay, Anna, I'm going to shop to buy bread. While walking to the shop, I was thinking about the Zulu that I just learned. And then I saw a man walking towards me. He's my chance. So bonus, Lima. My coolest kabenga when I huh? And isn't when I dug you too? I never spoke Zulu again. But I did mention that my dad was very religious. Well, Sundays wouldn't be Sundays if you didn't get up really early in the morning for Sunday service at our local temple. You would think on a Sunday, you'd get a chance to sleep in and get some rest. Not with my dad. We got up really early. I remember standing in the shower, still drowsy. Then when I got out, I put on my white clothes. My dad would be in a real hurry. He'd be like, hey! <laughs> ah, the good old days of Sunday service. Well, after service, when we were heading home, I thought, okay, now I can get some sleep. Tchah! Can you imagine the first thing we did when we got home were chores. I mean, chores on a Sunday. Man, this week we were cleaning the dark room. <laughs> we called it the dark room because there's no light in it. <laughs> Y'all thought that was my room, huh? <laughs> 
So we were packing boxes and moving things. When I came across this bag, uh, when I looked inside, there were two drums. I was like, uh, Dad, what's this? Next thing I know, I'm going for tabla lessons. <laughs> I started by learning the North Indian style of tabla playing. My teacher then was the late, great Basant Ramchander. I still remember his notations. You know, when I think about it, why do Bredos have to accentuate the H when they speak? Even when he spoke to me, Hey, Senzo, Bhaiya, you're playing like a bhajia. <laughs> come, beta, come. Everything from beta, bhaiya, bhajan, bharfi. <laughs> it's like for every H, the porridge was dropped, the breros just picked it up, huh? <laughs> Well, from there, I started to learn the South Indian style of tabla playing. Now, my teachers there were the late, great Guru Gopalan and Magen Mudli. Their notations was hectic. <laughs> it sort of sounded something like this. After Sunday service and tabla lessons, next came the dreaded Tamil school. <laughs> I mean, what is it about Tamil teachers? They're such sticklers for detail. Pulegale! Hey, Pulegale! Come, come, get in the class, get in the class! Hey, come, come, Pulegale, get inside, get inside! Hey, Pulegale, come, come, come! Right? Open your books on a sealed and homework! You know, ha, only oop, you'll never do homework, eh? The way I'll eat y'all! You know, Uncle always says he don't know why I break my head and teach her rubbishes. Right? Open your books, you'll do homework. You'll do homework. children not only he did his homework but it's the only African in the class <laughs> uh, 
Okay, very good, Senzo. Come, Senzo, you say a poem. <laughs> that was my favorite part. Because whether you knew your poem or not, she was so excited, she would start the poem, finish it, and still thank you on top of that. <laughs> I'm going to start now, ma'am. Kaiko tamba, kaiko tu. Senzo, Senzo, Senzo. I keep telling you, pronunciation, pronunciation, pronunciation. Now repeat after me. Kaiko tamba, kaiko tu. Kanne maniye, kaiko tu. Okay, very good, Senzo, go sit down. Vanakum I mean, yeah, can you believe it? In Tamil, teacher is Asare. <laughs> and what a big Asare she was. <laughs> I remember this little episode when I was in school. My teacher called me and said, uh, Senzo, you're learning Tamil, isn't it? Uh, please say a poem for the class. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, I'm gonna say my favorite poem. It's Old MacDonald in Tamil. Ma'am, ma'am, when I say the poem, you must be the na, you must say, lol, lol, okay, all right. Rama Sami Kathot to Wundu, Avadi Pakadi Len. Nai Wundu, lol, lol. No, ma'am, I never. Senzo, what did you just call me? Did you just swear? Get to the principal's office now. I'm going to send her a note to let her know what you just said. I don't think Mrs. Singh liked Tamil people. <laughs> when I got to the principal's office, Senzo, I believe you're saying a very interesting poem. I care to repeat that? Okay, ma'am. Rama Sami Kathotu Wundu Avadi Pakadi Len Nai Wundu Lol Lol No, ma'am! I never swear. No, ma'am, you see, in Tamil, nai means dog. <laughs> and lol lol is woof woof. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, I knew that, Senzo. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, get back to class. <laughs> but primary school, huh? you would think being enrolled in a primary school would be a simple matter of filling in a few forms and then being registered. Not for Senzo and Tetwa. I remember on my first day, I was sitting in the principal's office with my dad. My dad and the principal were having a very serious conversation. Something about... You see, Mr. Chetty, this school is an Indian school <laughs> with Indian pupils and Indian teachers in an Indian area. <laughs> I don't think Senzo would be too comfortable in this school. Perhaps I'll suggest a school in an outlying area, like uh, Clermont, perhaps? Sorry, ma'am. You won't accept my son in your school. Why? Is it because he's black? I've got a good mind to report you. Come, Senzo, let's go. Uh, no, Dad! I don't want to go to Clermont! The Africans will rob me! <laughs> You know, I've got a good mind to report you to the House of Delegates. Come, Senzo, we're going. Uh, Mr. Jetty, Mr. Jetty, no need to be so hasty. All I was suggesting is, perhaps Senzo would be more comfortable in a school where he understood the language. Oh, we would love to have Senzo in our school. Uh, you know, Mr. Jetty, we are having a fundraiser soon, and we are short of sponsors, and you being a businessman and all that, And that's how I got new primary school. <laughs> My first day in primary school, I was so excited. I mean, I had like new clothes, new school shoes, short pants, huh? I had a lunchbox and a school bag. And my hair was, no, my hair was the same. Oh, first day of school. Lunch. Oh, you should see the lunch the other kids brought. 
They would bring things like fish fingers, poloni, burgers, hot dogs. Oh, as for me, well, four of the five days in the week I fasted. <laughs> huh? I would bring things like pikinka, avarka, birika, methiabs. <laughs> And on the one day that I wasn't fasting, I bought dry fish chutney. <laughs> huh. One day, I even brought a doll sandwich. I remember trying to take a bite of the sandwich. As I bit into it, the doll started to leak down my hand. Now, I had to suck my hand for the doll and bite the bread. Then there was juice. Oh, the other kids, the juice they would bring. They would bring things like oros and liquid fruit and milkshakes. As for me, I brought rasso. <laughs> huh? Rasso. You, you think of the hottest spices, chili, ginger, garlic, clove. You boil it all up, you got rasso. <laughs> On hot days, the other kids would be relaxing and drinking their cool drink. Me? I'd be standing in the shade, drinking my rasso and sweating like a pig. <laughs> I must have been the only seven-year-old. In one hand, I had rasso. In the other hand, I had rainies for heartburn. <laughs> I even asked my mom. I said, Ma, Ma, why you always give me rasso, Ma? My friends bring such nice juice, you give me rasso. Hey, you ungrateful dog! <laughs> I give you rasso so you won't catch a cold and you won't be constipated. Then there were these games we play in school. Oh, they were so cool. We play games like catching game and hide and seek. But you just couldn't be it. It was determined by a very simple game of Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a nigga by the toe. If he squeals, kick his ass all the way to Amkumas. <laughs> and O U T spells out, you it. But you have to be quick. Just like my best friend, Neil. Oh, he was just too quick. Oh yeah, Neil and I were good friends. And we would travel in the same kumbi to school every day. This kumbi was owned by this elderly couple. I think they were married. Because their names were kumbi auntie and kumbi uncle. <laughs> kumbi uncle would drive the kumbi. And kumbi auntie would operate the sliding door. It was a 15-seater kumbi. With 45 children! Neil and I would always be in the boot. <laughs> Hello, Neil. Hello, Senza. <laughs> I'm going to beat you today. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. When we got to school, Kumbi Auntie would open the boot. Neil and I would fall out. <laughs> then we'd wait on the pavement for the scholar patrol. Once he gave the signal, Neil and I would run across the road and we'd run for the school gate. But Neil would always beat me. He was just so quick. But I said, uh uh, tomorrow I'm gonna beat Neil. I'm gonna show him. I'm gonna surprise him. I'm not even gonna tell him I got a surprise. So the next day, in the kumbi. <laughs> Hello, Neil. Hello, Senza. <laughs> uh, I don't have a surprise for you. Huh? I'm gonna beat you today. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. When we got to school, and when Kumbi Auntie opened the boot, I jumped out. I didn't even wait for the scholar patrol. I just ran across the road, and I kept running and running and running and running until I got to the school gate. When I looked behind me, Neil wasn't there. I won! I won! I won! I was so excited. I went and told all my friends, hey guys, guess what? I beat Neil. Guys, I beat Neil. Guys, I beat Neil. Neil's nothing. The teacher on duty heard and called me. Sorry, Senzo, what were you just saying? Uh, ma'am, ma'am, I beat Neil, I finished him, I squashed him, he's nothing. <laughs> Senzo, do you know that Neil was knocked this morning? Get to the principal's office now. <laughs> when I got to the principal's office, Senzo, you know you people, you come to our school and teach our children to run across the road. So careless and so reckless. You know, I've got a good mind. Hmm. 
Lucky for you, Neil is okay. He's in the sick room next door. I want you to go and apologize. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, Neil didn't tell you I won. <laughs> the next day in the kumbi, Neil and I, awkward. Hello, Neil. I'm sorry you got knocked. For sex, Enzo, you're a damn death racer. Ah, huh? at least you never die. <laughs> well, of course, there was high school. How could I leave that out? High school. Oh, my first day. I was so excited. Because now, I was like a big boy. I mean, I had long pants, a long sleeve shirt. I even had a school tie. Had my lunchbox, my school bag, and my hair was, ah, oh, my hair was the same. I was walking through the school gate towards my friends when I heard somebody call. Hey, Nighty! Yeah, you Nighty, come here. Come here, stand here. So, Nighty, it's your first day in school, but you stand at six. All right. Can you check my bras over here? We rule the school. Yeah, we've been the matrix here for the last four years. <laughs> so, Chicken Lighty, we're going to initiate you. Right, bring your matcha, give me some lunch, take out your shoes. Hey, Lighty, you got a red string. Hey, you always check this. First time I take a dark here with a red string, except. Hey, Lighty, what you think you're a charo? What you know about Charles Lighty? Chun, what you know? Hey, who's? Just who knows Bhagavad Gita? <laughs> hey, everybody knows Bhagavad Gita. If you're so sharp, why don't you say something in Bhagavad Gita? Oh, it's a book. <laughs> hey, if you're so sharp, why don't you sing an Indian song? Yeah, yeah, let's see how sharp you are now. Hey, who's? Where do you can sing Indian songs? What I'll do, I'll catch him, give him one hot maybes. <laughs> hey, check here, I'll make it like a bigger scuppy. Check here, check here. Hey, Oz! Oz, came here, came here, came here, Oz, pull in, pull in, come check here. Came here, Oz, came here, check here, check here. Yeah, pull in, pull in. Check here, Oz. We got on Raven over here, eh? <laughs> he thinks he's a charo. Right, Lighty, sing, listen, I'll shop, yeah? Um, okay, um, <clears throat> Can no do can by the land, Taleva, can get the kitchen, the millay, can get the kitchen, the millay. Hey, Lighty, huh? What nonsense is that? <laughs> huh? Sing something with life, eh? <laughs> what you think, funeral is this? Uh, okay, um, Boma Boma Tati, Tati, and Akitan, Akin, Akitin, Bajan Kere, Putinikin, Akitimi, Petam, Petam, Wom Tati, Gana Patinampena, Wom Tati, Gana Patinampena, Wom Tati, Gana Patinampena. Hey, Lighty, you can sing it, sir. <laughs> hey, let your two shop accept. Why don't you come back with us? We'll be your bras. <laughs> hey, so it's too sharp, man. Hey, come here, Check here. What's your name, X, eh? Senzo. Hey, I thought all like you, your name be Sendalem. <laughs> Check here, Sendalem. I'll take you around the school. i make a big deal. Just like me. Kimi Ashire. Come here, come here. Check here, Ashire. Check here, check here. Dark, yo, but check yeah. <laughs> Don't interfere with my bra, okay? Like What are you send them? You park with me, who will dollar you? <laughs> check it out. Here's another bra of mine. Kimmy, Kimmy, Kimmy. Hey, Bones! Bones, check it. This is my bra, send them. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. But you get, don't interfere with the lighting and don't hash him. Like that. Hundreds. Check it, since they want to chain you. Anyway, check it. You even got one to stick it to kill me, kill me. Sir, 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 sir. No, I'm joking. I, I'm playing with the boy. He's my friend. He's my friend, sir. I, I, no, 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 sir. No, I'm, I'm not interfering with him. Yeah. No, I've got maths now. I'm going to class. I'm going to class, sir. Okay, okay, I'm going. Thank you, sir. <laughs> ah, sir. <laughs> hey, send them. I'll see you lunch break time. <laughs> and that's how I made friends with the Matrix. They took me around school, they showed me where the jokers joked, the smokers smoked, and the pokers poked. <laughs> but although a lot of people sort of found me interesting, the person that caught my interest was our school principal. This man was shocking. out of school huh you know your parents work very hard to put you through school give you good education and you come loafing over here without a good education what can you be not even good enough to be a shit bucket carrier <laughs> you know your children just make me sick get it from my school the class what period it is what you got now oh maths I caught y'all who's a math teacher oh me <laughs> hey what you looking at get to class two of y'all hey you two fellas you're just walking you're losing the paper on the floor come here come here come here I want to ask you first right if you're walking and you say paper on the floor you pick it up don't lie don't lie don't lie Oh, you're laughing. Come here, come here. <laughs> I want to ask you also. Say it's a hot, hot day, right? And you see me walking down the main road. And you're driving nicely in your Mercedes Benz. Now, it's a very hot day. You can see that I'm sweating like a, ba like a black fowl at a bad luck prayer. <laughs> You'll stop and give me a lift. Don't lie, don't lie, don't lie. Very <laughs> rubbish. Get from here. But if you thought that's where it ended, Huh, it got better. There was also assembly. A test sound, test sound. <laughs> Mr. Raju, this thing is working. <laughs> oh, it's on. Hey, settle down, children. What you laughing for? Hey, make your line straight here. Yeah. You know, children, we've got some children that come to school that are, that are interested about working. Huh? They pass their tests, they do their homework. But we still got one or two rotten eggs that's making the whole school stink. <laughs> Even some parents, huh? Parents who are concerned, they want to know if you're getting homework, if you're passing. But we still got some parents that couldn't care a damn. But some of the parents that do care, take for example, Timothy's mother. Timothy's mother, whenever you call, that woman will come. You can phone if it's hot, she'll come. You can phone if it's raining, she'll come. That woman, ever ready to come. You know, it is only until recently that I realized why I never saw Timothy in school again. <laughs> but of course, there were those awkward moments when teachers would call me aside and ask me personal questions. So, uh, Senzo, you live with the Indians, huh? Where you sleep? <laughs> huh? Inside the house. So, uh, Senzo, you was raised by Indians, eh? You can eat hot food. You know, karo, tita. You can eat. All right. The curry don't burn your ass. <laughs> the 
But high school wouldn't be high school without high school girls. And we had some lovelies. But you just couldn't pick any girl. You had to get the okay from your friends. Hey, hey, hey. what do you think of that uh, Natasha Stecky? She's like a wife for her. Hey, Senzo, that Natasha Stecky. Ah, she's like one loose thing that, eh? She's like one village bicycle. Everybody had a ride. <laughs> what about Reshma? Reshma's like a wife for her. Hey, Senzo, Reshma. Ah, that stick is too quiet. Where she'll give? <laughs> what about the new stecky in school? She's like a wife for her. Senzo, that new stecky. Ah, 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 Senzo. You check that stecky's legs, etc. Not one, but two. <laughs> and Senzo, you check that stecky's pachas. <laughs> what luck a pacha she got. You know what I'm smart to do? I asked Mark to put my head in between and go. <laughs> but whenever I shared any of my feelings with any of the girls, whenever I told them how I felt, I always got the block. You know, Senzo, we're such good friends. Senzo, I don't want to ruin the friendship. Senzo, I take you like my own brother. <laughs> and that's all I kept hearing. In fact, I got so sick and tired of it. I was walking to class one day and somebody was calling, Senzo, Senzo. I was like, oh, what, what, what? Listen, I get it. We're good friends. You don't want to ruin the friendship. You take me like a brother. I, I know. Uh, no, Senzo. I want you to know if I could borrow your homework book. <laughs> but there was someone I liked and I was going to make her mine. I was going to be like a Bollywood heartthrob. So the first thing I did when I got home is I was going to watch every Bollywood movie we had. But there was just one problem. The only Bollywood movies we had were Sivaji movies. <laughs> huh? Can you imagine trying to win a girl being like Sivaji? Huh? You go up to the girl and say, <laughs> so that's when I decided I was going to stop at the movie house and get some real Bollywood DVDs huh? with Shah Rukh Khan and Hrithik Roshan. I even chose a song with her name in it. The next day I saw her sitting alone. I thought, okay, here's my chance. I walked over to her, Bollywood style. I got down on one knee and said to her, Anjali, Anjali, push Anjali. But there's only one problem. I only knew one line in the song. Anjali, Anjali, push Anjali. You should have seen. She was like so excited and so shy at the same time. She was like, Sensei, you know you. Sensei. What you like about me? What's your favorite part? Uh, well, Anjali, it must be your chinna chinna ase. Sirara kudu ase. I thought I was going to get a clout, but you should have seen. I was hoping that next she was going to pulvili pulvili vanil pantutili pantutili. And I was going to show her my Janua. <laughs> but instead, I got the block. You know, Senzo, we're such good friends. I don't want to ruin the friendship. I take it like my own brother. So just when I was about to throw in the towel and give it all up, out of nowhere comes a girl who likes me. I mean, she was pretty, in a pretty sort of way. You know, like, if you're not too fussy. <laughs> but there was just, you know, one, one tiny little setback, you know, one minor little thing. <laughs> Hello, 
Schluss denn so? Angesuckelt. Äh, sorry? Angesuckelt. I, I, I don't understand. Your face is so cute. Oh, my face. Oh, uh, thank you, uh, Shelly. <laughs> you know, Sandro, everybody calls you Superman, and you call me Thundercat. <laughs> and I know that you don't have a girlfriend, and I, I don't have a boyfriend. So I was thinking that maybe you and me Yeah, Shirley, about that. We're such good friends. <laughs> I don't ruin the friendship. I take you like my own sister. <laughs> I almost never dated after that. I mean, how could I date someone like Shirley? Well, don't give me that look. How could I date someone who had a hole in their palate? Imagine if I was kissing her and my tongue went in the hole. <laughs> Could go with that angle. Uh, but then there was my relatives. I had some real crazy relatives. Eh? Uh, you might know of some of them. We had people like uh, Curry Leaf Auntie. We called her that because she had a huge curry leaf plantation. Then we had bitter leaf uncle. We called him because he was always chewing on bitter leaf. Then we had muruku auntie. We called her that because her hair was like murukus. <laughs> but my favorite was TV uncle. Because TV uncle would only ever phone if his TV was on the blink or sometimes not even plugged in. Namaskaram, Sinzo. Yetla, Nena. Bagunda, no. Come inside, Sinzo, come inside. Sinzo, Uncle getting old now. Thanks for coming to help, Uncle. You're not in a hurry or anything. Sinzo, you must just see what's wrong with the TV, boy. You know, Uncle likes to watch sport. I wanted to ask you, you'll have something to drink. Have one cup tea. No, have half cup at least then. No. Oh, I know what you'll have. You'll have one cup rasso, eh? <laughs> Your mother told me, are you like rasso? Oh, yeah, Senzo. Just see what's wrong with the TV, boy. You know, collect to what? Sport? <coughs> 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 You know, uncle suffering from wheezing. Just uh, go in my room and get my chumbu. <laughs> Thank you, Senzo. Thank you. <coughs> go put it back now. <laughs> hey, what you looking in the chumbu for? You see my teeth fell out. Hey, Sinzo, hey, I must tell you what happened yesterday. Uncle was reading the paper in the sitting room. I can hear one noise outside. So I pulled the curtain. I can see one native fella in the yard. <laughs> Open the window, I'm calling. Caesar! Caesar! Suck, boy! Suck! Catch him! <laughs> but then I remembered, Caesar is dead, eh? Shame, the dog was old. We had him for about 30 years. No, no, that was auntie, yeah? <laughs> no, Caesar we had for 10 years, huh? Yeah, no, shame, the dog was old. Must be fleas got him, eh? Yeah, Senzo, just see what's wrong with the TV, boy. You know, uncle like to watch spot. <laughs> so, um... That's when I went and I said, uh, 
TV, uncle. Where's the TV? I, I don't see anything. The cabinet is empty. Hey, don't say. Let me have a closer look. Hey, my TV. He's gone. Don't say. The native fellow that was in the yard stole my TV. Don't say, that's why my window is broken. Hey, Sinzo, I shouldn't have bought that flat screen LCD, eh? So easily, they just pull it through the burglar guards. <laughs> hey, but one thing, Sinzo, hey, this nation is finishing our lives and leaving us, eh? College days. I have to throw that in. College. <laughs> College. I was so excited because now I was like an adult. On my first day, new clothes, new jeans, khakis, lunch bag, lunch box, lunch bag. My hair was, no, my hair was the same. I was sitting in the canteen, about to eat my lunch. I wasn't fasting that day. <laughs> Dry fish chutney. As I was about to take a bite of my sandwich, this guy just pulled a chair next to me. Okay. Next, he just starts talking to me. Lock, how's it, brew? <laughs> I think I like sort of noticed you in class, eh? So I thought it'd be like Kev to sit with you, brew. So like, brew, what's your name, eh? Senzo. <laughs> oh, Brew, that's a rude rely. Eh? <laughs> anyway, Brew, my name is Dumasani. <laughs> but you can call me Dumi for short. So, like, Brew, which high school did you go to? Reservoir Hill Secondary. <laughs> oh, Brew. Norton's Tortoise, eh? <laughs> I've never heard of that school. Anyway, I went to Westville Boys Ha. Huh? <laughs> Brew, what's your favorite crisps, eh? Crisps, uh, I think you call them chips. <laughs> Knickknacks. <laughs> ah, Brew, those aren't even crisps. Now, Pringles, those were crisps, eh? Uh, Brew, I'm like really famished, eh? Uh, do you mind if I like have a bite of your sandwich? Oh, I shot, Brew. Ah, Brew, what shit is that, eh? Just give me this. Let me wash it down. Hey, Dumasani, at least your accent came back. <laughs> and look at the bright side, at least you won't catch a cold or be constipated. <laughs> Ever heard of Burbedi? Well, that's my story. Take it or leave it. Believe it or not, but that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bululu uncle, Mr. Senzo Tetwa.